Hey everyone, it's Nigel here from Aussie Painters Network and I want to introduce Kate. Um, Kate's joined our team and she's looking after all of the recruitment needs for painters out there that are actually looking for staff. So yeah, welcome Kate. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So I just want to quickly run through a couple of things. Um, I guess if you could give us a bit of a background on your, your recruitment what you've done in the past. So that way the guys get to know that, you know, you have actually been doing this sort of thing. You, you've you've got experience in it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so Kate started with us about a month ago. So Yes. Well, I, I mean, I first started, I did a, a university degree. Um, and then from that, using, funnily enough, my 16 years of hospitality experience, I got my first job in recruitment. Yep. And that was placing hospitality staff, actually. So okay. more of the the day to day shifts, and then from there went into healthcare recruitment. So again, totally different industry. Yep. Worked in that company for about four years throughout COVID, doing nursing yeah. nursing work was that uh, lovely. Yes. And then from there, I worked for a big Assen company. So got quite involved in traineeships, and that's how I came across painting really for the first time. Mm-hmm. And from there, I've ended up with you. You've ended up here. Yes. So, yeah, once again, welcome. And I think, look, I think that um, with Kate's experience, it's for us, it's been actually pretty eye-opening. It's It's been a lot of fun. It's um, We're having a lot of laughs. Yes. Sorry. That's one thing that we, we are doing here. And, um, you know, guys, at the moment, we've, we've seemed to have hit a bit of a, a, a sweet spot, I guess, in that. We've now, in the last few weeks, we've actually hit, um, we've got 50 applicants. Yes, yes, 50 willing, waiting, suitable applicants looking for apprenticeship. You know, so Kate's spoken with these people. They don't fit everyone's needs and wants and everything else. And, look, a lot of them are young. They haven't necessarily got cars, you know, or transport or things like that, but that's where... You know, on the at the end of this, we're going to actually have put a list up of all the suburbs that that these guys are in and girls. In fact, surprisingly, we've got thirty women yes. applying and only twenty guys. Yeah. So that's sure. been really uh, a really big eye opener there for us. But look, we we train a lot of female apprentices, obviously, and we're dealing with a lot of um, women in the trades now, yeah. and it's it's brilliant. There is a good at the moment. There's a fantastic push for women in trade. Yes. There's a lot more of those supporting networks like Narwick, for example, yep. or your mentoring services as well. Yep. It's a really good time to be a female coming into the trade. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, um, yeah, do you do you want to tell us anything about some of the applicants, some of the sorts of things that they're telling you? Because you're talking to them. Yes. You know, I haven't spoken to any of them. Mm-hmm. You're talking to them. But then also you've been reaching out and speaking to members and, and whatnot, so, and employers. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, the, the applicants that we're getting through at the moment, uh, a lot of them are either school leaders, so they're yep. finishing school this year or just graduated, and they're looking for something potentially to start in January. Yep. That's a lot of a lot of them are echoing that same sentiment of starting in January after that Christmas period. And then we have applicants that are mature age. You know, they've 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 seen how there's all these incentives to work in the trade, they've seen that it is a really good industry to be in at the moment. And that's where they want to go. That's where they want to go with their life. So, and a lot of those mature age applicants, they come with the car, they come with the license, they come with life and work experience. Yep. And they're the ones that are desperately looking for employers to give them a shot. And a lot of them are female, actually. Yep. So, guys, look, as I said, we're going to put out a um, a list there. Now, while I've actually got you guys here at the same time and and. I'm dumping this on. Well, no, we did actually have a bit of a chat about it. What we're doing is we've we've seen such a need in Queensland that we're actually taking this national. So we're actually about to start a marketing, a national marketing for for painters, for members. Um, we've actually put a membership guarantee together that, you know, on timeframes of how quickly we will find you an applicant so we've tested our our systems and our systems seem to be working pretty well that you know when we get someone that we're managing to to fill those vacancies pretty quickly yes you know in those direct areas so go and check out the the membership package we've actually just updated that so there's you know with with some of the new ideas Mm -hmm. and like i said that apprenticeship guarantee so have a look at those see what's what's there if there's something that does reach out to you um, you know, Please reach out me. to us. 
you know. So Kate's details and everything will be on the link. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it yeah. for now. Please, if you do need an apprentice, or if, if it's ASAP or even if it is January, I can uh, reach out because we've got beautiful applicants that you can lock in for a trial in the next few weeks yep. knowing that they're going to be with you in January. Yep. You don't have to worry about it when you go back to work. So yeah. it is a good time to take someone on, at least give them a trial. So you yep. know exactly what you're looking for next year. Also federal incentives. You mentioned just before there's some good incentives out there. So, you know, depending on where you are, what they are, there's different federal, different state, depending on where you are in the country. We've actually got, I think at the moment already, a Northern Territory we're looking for yeah. and Northern Victoria. Alice, Alice Springs and Eastern Melbourne. There so you go. A couple of employers I've spoken to this week, they they don't know who to reach out to for staff. They can't find them through SEEK. And so... It just happened to be that I called them this week and we've promoted it all over our social media pages, all throughout our apprenticeships. So, and they, you know, I'm hopeful that they'll have an applicant in the next couple of days, couple of weeks at least. Yeah. So this is this is just, you know, I guess our latest thing that we've found that we need within the industry. So guys, reach out. As Kate said, she's here to to help you and support you with your your employment needs. That's right. Take care. And um, oh, anything else you want to add? Oh, no, look, give me a call at any time. Always down for a chat. Always down to look for an apprentice for you. Yep. Great. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kate. And uh, we'll talk soon. Will do. Bye for now. Bye.